Hand painted t shirts. This is a monkey skull motorcycle with. What is this? Snake bone. Snake bone? Yeah. And this is real monkey? Yeah, real monkey. How much is that? It's only 35. 35. Wow. What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Island Hopper TV and we finally made it to Boracay Island. So I'm going to start here on station two and walk that way along this beach here. Obviously the sun has just now gone down. It does get some really beautiful sunsets out here, uh, but we're just past sunset, so we missed it. Now, this is my second time coming to Boracay. I came here in 2015. They shut it down in uh, 2018 for six months because there was bacteria in the water and they needed to overhaul the um, sewage and septic systems. When I came here this time around, I was expecting infrastructure upgrades. They did not happen in terms of roads and uh, it still looks the exact same in terms of transport, the processes and everything. So I thought when they shut it down for six months that they would have also done some uh, infrastructure upgrades. Just in case you're wondering, that does not appear to have happened. Okay, so now that I've walked this beach, what I'm gonna end up doing is going up here to the boardwalk, which is where the party happens. So this beach here has been rated um, <laughs> the number one best beach in the world a couple times, believe it or not. 2012, uh, Travel and Leisure, I believe, voted it number one, and then Condon Nest in 2016. <laughs> And I can tell you, having been to many islands, Borkai, in my opinion, is not number one in the world. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's pretty cool. But when you're going up against places like Ibiza, Santorini, Mykonos, Bora Bora, Maldives, uh, Playa del Carmen, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Aruba in some tough company and even in the Philippines Boracay is considered number two behind Palawan well El Nido actually so for it to hold that title is kind of unique now is it a cool fun place to party and have fun you can go sure yeah that it is Tourists come from all over too. Wide varieties. In fact, the place that I was just at, Penglao, when I got into the uh, taxi ride, I said, what do you think, Boracay number one? He said, oh no, Bohol. He said, Bohol's number one. <laughs> I'm like, that's funny, because I just came from Penglao. <laughs> so. But it is a nice place. It's a lot bigger than uh, Pung Lao and Alona Beach. In terms of the beach. This beach is called White Beach. Dinniwet Beach also, and then on the north is uh, Puka Beach, which I intend to go to all those. Show you guys Boracay for what it's worth.
some of you guys think when I say something that I was it was taken out of context so I'm going to confirm I am not hating on Boracay I like Boracay I really like Boracay I'm simply saying it's not in my opinion the best island in the world as it's been ranked several times I mean look at you got all the Hawaiian islands Oahu Maui Kauai I mean you had <laughs> come on there's a lot of places Fiji <laughs> Tahiti this place is cool actually back in the 70s when they first started establishing it as a tourist hub it was through movies and a book by a German novelist and it, the German novelist in the book had said that uh, it was paradise on earth so that's kind of where the interest really started to take over was when it had the movie and the book but it really suffered in late 90s early 2000s from uh, lack of infrastructure and overpopulation overpopulation is a thing They actually have some rules, things that you shouldn't do in Boracay, things that got out of hand. Like, uh, you should not um, go to the bathroom on this beach. <laughs> like, that's actually a law. There were some foreigners who uh, buried a diaper over here, and they're in some big trouble. So, like, if you got to go to the bathroom, do not do that there on that beach. first time I came here I stayed around this area I mean look how big this beach is there's station one station two station three I started on station two when I started filming this I mean it's packed too it is currently sunset so it's like you see the exact time at night it's not even six o'clock yet it's 555 so it is packed and it gets more pumping as the night goes on so I'm not gonna film because I'm gonna be out having drinks there's the bamboo market let me cruise up and down here a little bit Lots of souvenirs here. You get a tattoo, huh? Uh, anyways, I don't want to keep going all the way down into deep into the tattoo market, so we'll go back over here. By the way, Boracay is a part of Auckland province. two airports here, Cataclan and Kalibo. Kalibo is a lot farther away. Hard to get to. Ah, you got Boracay Uptown. What do you guys think? Is Boracay the number one island in the world? Share your thoughts. I'd have to say the number one island is Bora Bora. <laughs> Straight up. Number two is probably Kauai or Maui. Or even the Big Island. The Big Island is just... Actually, the Big Island is probably my favorite, but depends on your taste. Number three. Maybe you could start talking about Boracay at number three.
Uh, here's D Mall. That's where I stayed last time. I like this area, D Mall, but it is packed. See what kind of food they got here. I mean, you can see they've got all sorts of different restaurants. I might just opt for a cheeseburger call it a day. I mean, I could keep on walking. This place is long. Like I said, there's three stations. It's a big white sand beach. It really is a paradise. Um, let me know where you think it ranks. Give me your list of top five islands in the world. You know, obviously Maldives, Bora Bora, the Hawaiian Islands, Ibiza, Mallorca. Santorini, Mykonos, I mean, you let me know. All right, guys, see you on the next video and subscribe and like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. See you next time.